So um, on to the next topic. My man, Jaron Ennis, crazy enough, Ooh. we were talking about him, right? The day before, we were talking about him being the prospect of the year, and I awarded him that. You obviously yeah, awarded yeah. so Virtual Ortiz, and we we said we want to see them clash. Now, Jaron... I, I, I also want to confirm, so it's um, Jaron Ennis. Jaron Ennis. I'm so sorry, about, I watched doing too much Dragon about, Ball, and that's one of the, the reason characters. I know is think about... <laughs> Quran and whatnot, even though I know I know we say it wrong in there, and then so that's how I made the connection. So it's actually um, Jerron Ennis, but oh, yeah, my bad, Jerron Ennis. Yeah, yeah. So Jerron Ennis, you know, he had a fight, and obviously he at the deepest division in boxing. That's the reason why welterweight always been the hottest division in boxing. You pointed out on Split Decision episode, I don't recall which episode in particular, you stated that it's the perfect combination of power and speed. Yeah. You know, heavyweight, they just have too much power. Like, you know, lighter weight divisions, a lot of speed, but not enough power. It's like the, the, the you know, equalizer in a way. So that perfect intersection. And right all that's you can see why. You you know, we ain't even see the best fight, the best yet Errol Spence, the truth versus the bug Crawford, right? Mm -hmm. And we already got a youngin in the game knocking on the door looking for some smoke. He called out Errol Spence, he called out Terrence, even though obviously he not ready because he needed at least five fight a top fifteen fighter yet. But it's hard for him because he can't land twenty five opponents tearing down the fight. So mm -hmm. He really has the talent. He called out these guys. We didn't get to see much of how good he is because of his opponent, but he going to need to be a Roy Jones. A lot of people are, are comparing him to Roy Jones, saying that he mm -hmm. has that type of talent. In order for him to go through this type of storm, he going to have to be a Roy Jones. He going to have to have a, a Roy Jones type of talent in order to go through this type of storm. An Errol Spence storm, a Terrence Crawford, a Sean Porter, a Danny Garcia. I mean, I could see him defeating Danny, Ugas maybe in a tough mm. fight and all these guys. But the truth, Errol Spence and Terrence, man, that's a hell of a... There's only one level above that, and it's probably a Mayweather. They mm. are that elite, Terrence and Errol Spence. So he looking at the big dogs. What you think about Jaron Ennis after you've seen him? Is he, how you say his name? Um... Um, Jerron. Jerron Ennis. Yeah, how yeah. you how you think about Jerron Ennis? Because I think he's the truth. But what do you think about his potential as a fighter? And when can he land the, even a world title? Yeah, so there's a kind of a saying when you see these boxers um, in different gyms that kind of go like travel and different things. So yeah. um, anytime you're getting ready for a bout, you know, you go and go to the other gym and it's good because the, the person doesn't know you. So they're going to give you that work and they like to hold to kind of hang their hat on the fact that if they can stop you or get you to quit or whatnot, like don't come to our gym asking for some sparring. And, um, but if you, if you got it, you know, that's, a, that's what they'll say. They'd be like, Hey, he, Hey, he got it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so he like got it. Basically, mean he got the goods, and that's what you see with 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 within it. Uh, with Ennis with boots, you know, like we, we'll call him boots by his nickname. But I mean, he has he has uh, flashy hand speed, power, good movement, uh, picture perfect technique from right, left switches effortlessly. Uh, he's young, 22, and he switches. I didn't like, even has like... a has a good strong boxing mindset. Um, so he, I mean, he checks all the boxes, comes from Philly, comes from a boxing family. So has the pedigree, has the blood and, uh, the fight that I would like to see, honestly, it's going to be hard to make it happen because of boxing politics, but I think it'll be a good measure is a fight against Jeff Horn. I don't know. I just pull that out he, there. He, I think, I think like that's a good, good fight. physical that's fight. A good fight. Do I think, this, I think, but something that he should still win yeah. and do that. I think that's I think a good fight. fight. That's Jeff a fair Horn. fight, too, especially at this point of his career. And obviously, straight out of the gate, he called out the big dogs, just like Errol did. Yeah, he. I don't, I don't know about that. Just like um, you know, Keith Thurman did, too. He called out Mayweather when he's just first time on HBO. That's what you're supposed to do. Puppy. However... I would love to see him versus Virgil Ortiz. Obviously, both of the guys. Ooh. I don't think they're going to make that wait. fight happen anytime soon because yeah, I, I would wait on um, it's so but much of a... they both on the same network, though, yes. right? No, they're not. The, they not. Are they? Well, he... No, nah, he fought for... No, um, no, that's right. He fought Showtime. He fought I'm, on I'm, Showtime. They, I'm getting mixed yeah, up Golden because, Boy. because yeah. they, they, they had a... Um, the zone fight that um that yeah the zone yeah night. he fight for the zone virtual Saturday. artists fight for the zone yeah uh, you're right about that and it's he fights for uh showtime however he is a talent 
And I'm looking forward to seeing his next couple fights. Like I said, he gonna need to be a Roy Jones to go through that storm. And even a poor version of Roy Jones is still great. Let's not yeah. let's not forget a poor version of Roy Jones is still great because Roy Jones in his prime, nobody beats him. Roy Jones in his prime, y'all must have forgot. That man is the most gifted fighter of all time. And if he retired on time, he could have went down as the greatest fighter of all time. And in my yeah, opinion, he, he top five regardless. He definitely stayed in the game a little bit too. Long. So, obviously, the next topic is the topic that I want y'all to call in. All y'all decaps that in the comment section, y'all just fill my com comment section up. So, kind of, like, not only for them, but for me, like, explain decaf. Because somebody actually had wrote about it. It was like, you're a decaf. And I, so, I, I, I thought it was like, oh, that means you don't have any energy. Like, Oh, no, no. So, a decaf yeah. is... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, all right, like, so, he called so you because, bit. obviously, there's a lot of people, like, casual fans that tune in and watch the sport of boxing. So... We don't want to diss the casual fans because obviously the casual no. fans could be anybody. However, the decaf is a dumb ass casual fan. Okay. That basically is a term that Dante decaf, created okay, okay, and okay. new media that I'm, I'm a part of. He created this term because to differentiate between the, the casual, casual fans fan and the, the dumb D casual oh. fans. That is just like, like for example, no disrespect to Pacquiao, one of my favorite fighters of all time, but his fan base sometimes say the wild, wildest things like, oh man, he, like once, mm -hmm. once I had somebody say he Jesus. So <laughs> I'm, it's like, that's a dumb casual fan. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So all the decals call in. I want y'all to call in and let's get straight to it now. Let's get to it. Man, listen, hold on. You already know. You got, where, where's, where's your little you puppy know, I, at? Cause I got the puppy, I got line. Simba. This is the original right here. This, <laughs> Okay. This symbol right here. That's Listen, a... stop playing with me. I got Charlo in the house. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so, you, so, so, he so, in front of the strap? I so, uh, appreciate you, Professor Nan, for another great episode. Episode 17. Uh, and none of the decaps called in other than this guy that I don't know who, what he was talking about. Talking about Floyd Mayweather was in pound for pound back in 2007. Ain't even an argument. So, like I said, <laughs> I'm talking about the decaps that want to argue. They keep saying I'm this and that in the comment section. That want to seek out the truth and the IQ. That want to prove me wrong. Y'all got something to prove. IQ undefeated. IQ, man, he the GOAT. Because nobody want to prove him wrong on split decision. He undefeated on split decision. Professor Nam styling on y'all. On he, he too fly. He literally is the sky. He the sky, <laughs> man. Come on, stop playing with him. So I appreciate every single one of my keys. Obviously, I'd rather talk with a decaf just to school him for my keys and entertain y'all. But I love talking with my keys too. Obviously, to my left, in the blue corner. The man that always gets back up, regardless of him getting knocked down. Oh, you ain't never seen that. <laughs> you ain't never seen that. So though. you never got dropped in split decision? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. My record clean no, over my there. Clean, is it my cleaner to you? Clean. You sure? Is it cleaner it to is. you? It's just as clean. Because you too right fresh there. out there. I don't know, man. You too fresh, man. I don't know. If you if your record that clean, you're going to be more popular than Floyd, man. I mean, y'all let us playing. know out there. I'm going right. to leave it up to them. I'm going to leave it up to Okay, the... drop in the comment section who y'all think want to debate. I don't know how much we debated today. I don't, I don't even think we debated. But regardless, at the end of the day, we want to smoke. Professor Nim want to smoke. If you disagree with him, call in. I'm going to just be the referee. So, if you disagree with me, call so in. We're going to hang be the for referee. like 10 more minutes. We'll take some calls. So, yeah, rap call critic, um, go ahead and call in. Um, and then anybody else who wants to close us out with some comments. Oh, yeah. Follow me. Aki TV on Instagram. A K H I underscore T dot V. So follow me on Instagram. It will be in the description box below as well. Cop that split decision merch. If you want to be dripped up like we do, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you already know. <laughs> we don't got to tell you how fly we is because all you got to do is just stare at Professor Nim for a minute or two. But for the meantime, like yeah. I said... And with that said, so I don't have IG. I'm a, I'm a little behind on some of the social media things. Like, I'm a I'm incognito, but I'm coming out with an app. It's called Stem Squad, and I will be providing y'all details as it gets a little bit and more a movie. developed. And a movie. We got an Maybe. app coming might, and a movie. A movie. Professor Nim is not there. playing with y'all, so we got to call What's in. Up? We got to call uh, My man. Uh, my man from All In 2, I'm going to call you right back, 504. But for the meantime, Aki, how you doing, fam? Stay, uh, where you calling from and your name? 
Louisiana is Rap Critic. What's good with it? Rap What's Critic, Rap good, Critic in the What's house. What's good with man. it, Professor Nels? My, my dog, I keep my brother. What's up, man? Hey, feeling better that you called in, man. Great <laughs> talking to you. Appreciate the blessing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, look, gotta start it off, man. You know what I'm saying, Professor Nels? You my dog, but you got a couple of no contests, man. I just gotta keep it facts, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, I got a couple of NCs on the record. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Aki got a couple of bodies on his record. Oh, my God. I got a couple, man. My dog, Aki been putting in that work, man. Huh? Been putting in that work. Huh? Been putting in that work. But, okay. But, but, but I got to give it to Professor Nails, though. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this YouTube, don't nobody dress like Professor Nails, oh, man. Oh, I appreciate you know it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Flock. Oh, oh man, we keep, we, we keep it saucy out here. Uh -huh. Hey, trying to be like you, rap critic. We trying to rap like you, rap critic. Straight up. Hey, I, I come with that real rap, that real rap. But look, look uh -huh. get into it, man. Um, Let's cook. I think, we, I think we talked about it last week. Um, my no. best show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Professor Nim, take us out while I press on the buttons and let the magic happen. We out there. Hit that subscribe every Sunday live. We'll see y'all again. Peace.